Hello, welcome back to the channel. So, what are we on? Well, basically, a bit of maintenance warning. This one's got to be completely greased up. And then we've got to take apart our pallet wrapper because our pallet wrapper is catching on something underneath. So, I'll take you down and I'll show you what I'm doing now. So, under this plate is a great big chain that goes up to the power point up there. Now, sometimes, basically, it's right plastic drag um, in the gap inside and it makes a chain jump so that's what's going on there. So we'll take this big plate off and then that red panel and then we'll see what the problem is. Meanwhile Charlie is going out to the bridge so he's just prepping load up. Yep. It's always nice to go up with a platform rather than climbing a ladder and trying to scramble over the top of it. So, that's what I'm doing. So on this bit here, there's 12 grease knuckles, which I've got to get through. Uh, three under this one, here and there, that's six, two at the top, two here, two there, boom. So I'm gonna scramble around and get this done. So that's all greased up, ready to go. But that bracket is cracked off that little housing thing that goes over that belt. So that's gonna be welded on now or next before this gets going because else material will end up wrapping around that. So that's gonna be done. And then we've got to go down to the other machine. And so far, we've taken off this panel, cleared all this out, but I think the problem is in underneath the motor right there so basically plastic oh, if i get you down here plastic is got sort of jammed up in here somehow and we've got to get out so we've got to take the motor off dump in all this in order to get it so what we found is dug all the plastic out underneath around that bearing dug all the plastic out down by the motor bearings knackered in there so that's got to be replaced but I had to drop the tension on the chain so we can use it until we can get, eventually get parts here. So now we've just got to get those six bolts lined up with the plate underneath and then bolt this back down and we can use it again. Woo. So, as you can see around the cab, we've got a lovely blue sky today. But weather forecast the next few days is not promising the same thing. So in order for us to keep processing, even though it's coming up New Year's, I'm going to have to bring down a heap of uh, hay from one of the farms. That way, I don't have to try and do it in the rain. Because if you do it in the rain, it messes it up. It sends the density, the bales, loopy. Also, if you add moisture back to hay, you're back in where you were to start with when you're waiting for your hay to cool down and make, it will redo it again, and then it's not so good. And it get really, really hot. And then it might even try and burn the shed down. So that's got to be stopped. And the easiest way to not do it is go and bring it in, or bring it down, on a day like this. But the rest of it, this video got a little bit lost in, in time. I, because it was, I was sort of rushing against the rain. Brought down three trailloads of hay. So 
that's here because we're supposed to have a couple well more than a couple wet days so i got ahead of myself on hey have enough down here that can be processed and if it's still actually pissing down i've got no ch chance of getting any more hay down we can flip over to haylage um <coughs> then loaded myself ready for tomorrow morning um again always trying to be sort of ahead of the game and i absolutely hate loading in the mornings it's horrible i just want to like it's so much easier just get out of the house get straight in the tractor seat and drive and then you've got sort of a bit more time to sort of wake wake up when you've got loads first and it's usually dark freezing cold uh could be horizontal rain this is horrendous I'd rather do it now so that's what i'll be doing after servicing the bail breaker and the and us fixing the pallet wrapper this morning but we haven't had the baler running today for first day in quite a little while um just because we're doing the other bits and i was moving that charlie was delivering we can all be in the same place at the same time so that's what's happened today now um if i don't see you before which i might do i might not do it depends what i can get edited and made in that time Happy New Year to all of you, and I wish everyone the best, best New Year ever, and best next year ever. So, on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you all. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you want to see any more of us, you can find us on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. Again, HRS is dabbling around with those sort of things when you want to. Uh, on top of that... Um, so nothing else I've got to say? Don't think so. Just have one of those moments. But here is mostly been prepped today for other things. Um, next video, I'll have a look around most probably the head trimmer and the T7 we got here. So, see you next one. Cheers.